sometimes it is hard to change. We all find it hard to change. However, we're here for the kids, and the kids need to have something better than what I had. My name is Rob Siddhuk. Rob means a God, and then Siddhuk means patience. So it means to have patience in God. But my teacher, she thought it was too hard to say my name, so she shortened it to just Crab with a B, which had no like meaning because there was no H. It, it, it's hard when people pronounce your name wrong and stuff. But then if they just don't pronounce it at all, just shorten it to what they feel like it's kind of worse. So then it's just harder and it was like, after a few grades, I started asking my teachers to put the H and then this year, like all my teachers, they call me a Prab Siddhak now. It's neither acceptable nor appropriate for us to change a student's name because it perhaps is not easy for us to pronounce. When you hear someone like Prab Siddhak, it reinforces the importance of people's names to their identity. And when we change that name, we take something from that identity and we diminish that identity. So it's, it's absolutely imperative that we use students' names. The students sometimes are shy and they don't speak up. And when you're little, it's, even, it's harder to too because you don't have much knowledge too. So it was harder when I was little. That's why I did it like later on when I found out and educated myself. We can't know what we don't know. So when a student um, comes to me with a name that I don't know, I'm going to ask them how to pronounce it. And I'm going to ask them kindly. And I'm going to ask them appropriately and respectfully. And then it's my job to continue to to get that right. That's the least that they deserve. The least that people can expect is that someone will at least say their name correctly. We've incorporated the lessons that we've learned into our professional development and into what we do in Grand Erie and what, into what we expect in Grand Erie from our staff. We continue to learn and that we continue to do better because when you know better, you should do better. I feel like Grand Erie has just uh, stepped out of the dark ages and is, as, is ready to uh, make some changes, ready to um, acknowledge that there needs to be change. Um, I still believe that, that it's going to take some work, that, that you know we have some people that we might need to support to help them see why it's so important to have a change but I feel that we're on a good trajectory right now.